Hello everyone! Greetings from Munich. I'm looking forward to many appointments in the next days to discuss IGBT and silicon curbit power solutions we provide at Leaper Semiconductor with key power electronics companies during the series of trade shows held here in Munich this week. Semiconductors are driving many industries to better and more efficient products. And back to the market news, let's check what is new in power semiconductors industry. A team of scientists from GE Research have set a new record, demonstrating silicon curbed MOSFETs that can tolerate temperatures exceeding 800 degrees Celsius. This is at least 200 degrees higher than previously known demonstrations of this technology and shows the potential of silicon curbed MOSFETs to support future applications in extreme operating environments. It also defies what most electronics experts believed was achievable with these devices. Transform announced the availability of its 1200V FAT simulation model and preliminary data sheet. The FAT is the only 1200V GAN or Sapphire power semiconductor introduced to date, making this model the first of its kind. Its release indicates Transform's ability to support future automotive power systems as well as three-phase power systems typically used in the broad industrial, datacom and renewables markets. These applications will benefit from the 1200V gallium nitride devices, higher power density and reliability along with equal or better performance at more reasonable cost points versus alternative technologies. NEDEC and Renesis Electronics have agreed to join forces on the development of semiconductor solutions for next-generation e-axle that integrates an EV drive motor and power electronics for electric vehicles. Today's electric vehicles are increasingly adopting the 3-in-1 unit called e-axle, which integrates a motor, inverter and gearbox. To realize high performance and efficiency as well as smaller size, lightweight and lower cost, and to accelerate vehicle development, electric vehicles are also integrating power electronic controls such as DC-DC converters and onboard chargers. Global Foundries and ST Microelectronics announced the conclusion of the agreement to create a new, jointly operated, high-volume semiconductor manufacturing facility in France. The program represents an overall projected cost of 7.5 billion euro for capex, maintenance and ancillary costs. The new facility will benefit from significant financial support from the state of France. ST Microelectronics and Sanan Optoelectronics announced that they have signed an agreement to create a new 200 mm silicon curbate device manufacturing joint venture in China. The new silicon curbate fab is targeting to start production in 2025 and full build-out is anticipated in 2028, supporting the rising demand in China for car electrification as well as for industrial power and energy applications. In parallel, Sun and Opta Electronics will build and operate separately a new 200mm silicon curbate substrate manufacturing facility to fulfill the joint venture's needs using its own silicon curbate substrate process. Wallspeed Wolfpack modules are a great choice for designers who want to increase efficiency and power density in a compact industry-standard footprint. The family of modules provides an excellent solution for fast design implementation, scalability, long-term design support and lower assembly overhead. Join Wallspeed for a short technical presentation that covers the Wolfpack product family's internal and external structure and how recent portfolio expansions enable it to cover a wider range of applications. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As usual, more Power Semiconductors market news coming next week. Meanwhile, go to my blog for more information or reach me on LinkedIn. Have a great day.